The fire chief of West Kelowna, Jason Broland, uh, saw his firefighters and other first responders on the front lines and described what he saw last night like fighting 100 years of fires in one night. Uh, chief, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome, and thank you for having me. Uh, help us understand what it's been like in West Kelowna. Describe, you know, what you saw and, and, and what you saw your firefighters doing. Well, we, we had very little time to prepare. We used the time to plan and warn people. Um, but when the fire came, uh, it, it exceeded everyone's expectations and its ferocity and, and its speed. And it came into town in multiple places. So it all happened very fast. Uh, my firefighters did what they were trained to do. Uh, we executed our plan, but um, you know, we asked an incredible amount of uh, almost 10,000 people uh, to get out of the way of this fire. But of course, not everybody did. And, and you've talked about the fact that uh, first responders in West Kelowna were put at risk, rescuing some people at least who didn't comply with the evacuation order. Describe for me one of those incidents. Well, last night, um, as the fire approached one area of the community, it burned across the road. And when that happened, um, you know, my first reaction was, well, we've evacuated that neighborhood. But word came quickly uh, that not only were uh, some firefighters, uh, but also some police officers trapped behind that line. They had gone there to rescue someone who chose not to leave. Um, and that created, obviously, a situation of immense personal risk for them, uh, risk to our operation. We needed to devote resources away to to rescue those people will risk a lot, to save a lot, and that night they did risk a lot, but they drove through the fire, uh, rescued the people, but it didn't have to be that way. What's your biggest fear, or maybe you're not somebody who has fear, but, but maybe it's source of anxiety going into tonight? Well, uh, you know, today, like last night, has been a very difficult day. We've seen extreme fire behavior again. We have fire burning in neighborhoods and we're doing our best to keep it out of houses. Um, my firefighters and firefighters from across the province now are putting fires out with garden hoses that are being left in the yards because we're, we're running from house to house. Uh, so tonight will be another challenging night. This fire is spectacular, but spectacular in a very bad way. Um, the, the glow in the sky, the embers, the the feeling of awe and dread uh, is what the community can expect tonight, but they can also expect we're going to have 90 personnel on the ground out there working hard to fight this fire. Um, but, you know, it's going to be another, it's been a rough day and it's going to be a rough night. Well, I think you know this. A lot of people across the country have uh, a lot of respect for what your firefighters and other first responders are doing and the way you've been able to uh, explain to us what's been happening. Chief Brolin, thank you very much and, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Well, another very busy person who was able to spare us a few minutes is the mayor of West Kelowna, Gord Milsom. And, and, and Mayor, let me start with a question I just asked your fire chief. What's your biggest concern heading into tonight? Well, geez, uh, we don't know, uh, you know what's going to happen as far as the winds and whatnot are concerned. But uh, I guess my biggest concern is obviously the safety of our public. So if we do have more evacuation orders, it's really important that our, our residents that are affected by those orders leave their homes immediately. Yeah, so I, I think that's something that's been puzzling to a lot of people is hearing stories about uh, those who have decided to stay behind for whatever reason and first responders being put at risk to, to, to end up rescuing some of those people. So if any of them are watching now, whether they're in West Kelowna or in some other evacuation zone and they're not leaving their home, speak to them directly. What would you say? Well, you're risking your own lives, your family's lives, as well as the first responders. Uh, so please uh, leave your homes as soon as you, an order is made and uh, come to the emergency uh, uh, services center, uh, register, uh, but please do not wait. Uh, there's just too much at risk. For the people who, who did comply with the evacuation orders and who are wondering tonight or tomorrow whether their house is still standing, when will they get that information, Mayor? Uh, I don't, I don't have a particular a timing on that. I know that our firefighters are focused on saving homes and fighting the, uh, fighting the fire. Uh, the battle is going to go on throughout the night. And uh, I don't think that our firefighters will have an opportunity to do proper assessments for some time. So I can give, uh, provide a, 
a, a time frame at all as far as that, that type of notification, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. One last thing, Mayor. West Kelowna is a relatively small community. Um, it's been hit hard by this fire. We don't know yet. The, we haven't heard the number of structures that have been destroyed. Do you worry at all about the future of your city? Yeah, we, we're one of the fastest growing communities in Canada. There's about 40,000 residents here. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're going upwards as far as uh, our trends and whatnot. But sure, I mean, it's 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 gut wrenching to to think of the impact of this fire uh, on our residents, the potential loss of structures and whatnot. Yeah, I'm really concerned about the impact on our community. There's a lot of concern and and support for your community and other communities hit by fires across the country. So I, I know you're busy, and I appreciate the time you're giving us tonight. Thank you. Thank you.